Let's get salty! Everyone, Zeddy here again today with a brand new video and we have had something kind of unprecedented happen in Hearthstone history. It's more of a Hearthstone meta complaint history. It's a weird one. A Death Knight has gotten to the point where it's so good, it basically doesn't lose to anything, at least at higher ranks. You can see we have two classes, only positive, and the weirdest thing has happened. Barely anyone is complaining about it, which is just Again, unheard of. We're going to go into the details, what exactly is going on, why I think it will get worse, why I think we will hear more complaints, and what I think will be done about it. And if you're enjoying the content on the channel, if you feel like I've earned your subscription, hit that sub button down below, give the video a like. We are really closing in on 64,000 subs, so if you could hit that button, it would mean a ton to me. Anyways, yes, if you take a look, this is across all ranks. We only have two playable classes. We talked about this a little bit earlier, but if you take a look at like the uh, higher legend meta top 1000 legend it, it still involves shaman doing well right but yeah frost dk number one and if you take a look at just legend it's even more so just yeah they're, they're kind of just killing it throughout all the ranks it's those two decks but vicious syndicate put out this most recent data reaper report where they feel that frost dk is just so incredibly good that there's not it's just not worth really playing anything else they say the most impactful card of the mini set is undoubtedly construct quarter by the way if you want to take a look at this report be linked down below they provide deck list analyze uh analysis and all that really good resource if you want to check it out so it is linked below uh the death Light location card has found its way to every class archetype giving death Lights a sizable boost in power and popularity while initial enthusiasm following the launch of the mini set uh, uh, surrounded a on Holy and Blood, a new archetype appeared a bit later in Frost Deathlight with an aggressive minion shell that resembles Unholy Aggro and only runs a few select spells. So we've talked about that deck. I keep saying it is just ridiculously good. And the way everything is evolving, it is quite startling. They have Frost Aggro Deathlight as the only top tier deck, the only tier one deck with Evolve Shaman not far behind. And they kind of summarize all of this by saying it's not looking good for the format. A balance patch is needed. Very very soon the format is on the brink of collapse as more players find out there's only one deck worth playing if nothing is done by next week the tables and graphs in the next report are going to look much much worse so we're not seeing a ton of complaints but at least from my play experience and what vicious syndicate is saying uh yeah the deck is pretty nutty um i just see everybody winning with it it, it just it loses in the mirror 50 percent of the time pretty crazy you can't get an edge of course by playing well but i was even noticing like hearthstone subreddit normally you'd have tons of complaints about cards and you know you got one meme here posting this meme ahead of its time uh construct quarter and you know the major location that got nerfed lost a durability Ability, but the most upvoted thing still is we get it evolve shaman how is this fair oh my god turn three by the way and i'm like why is there not a ton of complaints um we have casey pro player is death like good showing his track record of just like only facing death line, like a ridiculous amount I don't see many complaining about it, like with Rogue and Shaman. And then again, Deathlight is fine. High legend players just don't know how to deck build around it. Again, showing a huge Deathlight play pattern. But again, not a ton of complaints. And that led to Savid. Savid's tweeting out a take on this with maybe an unpopular opinion, but I like the Deathlight meta. Much rather have this than Bomb Warlock, OTK, Miracle Rogue stat dumps, or Evolve Shaman scams. I can actually outplay the Deathlights very often with many decks and classes obviously at least the location still needs uh, a nerf and i put my own take out there because i was experiencing the same thing even when i was facing it and playing mirrors i wasn't like loathing it it'll get to that point because it's you know faces deck over and over and over it's boring but i said one of the reasons we're not seeing a ton of complaints about death knight despite its dominance is it doesn't typically kill you from in hand it doesn't cheat an obscene amount of mana it fights for board and doesn't have a really big scam it, it just doesn't uh it's overtuned and it's but its play pattern is relatively healthy and well let's take a look at the deck of what i'm talking about so looking at the deck looking at the deck and what's like what it is actually doing so you straight out the gate construct quarter way too good a card this is the most busted card in standard right now because turns two three you get a four five rush and then you're gonna get two more over the next five turns or whatever that's that's a lot of value that's a lot of board presence but it's more of the early impact that no classes can really deal with that four or five it's why wild pod null was so good for rogue which by the way you could shadow step and play over and over while also buffing your location so 
way more insane way more insane but this again it lets you win the early game and from there you dictate everything you have really good mid game in school teacher the Syrian marrow manipulator and then you have what I would argue is probably the most feels bad uh, card in the deck the one that's the least healthy play pattern in frost dk is frostworm's fury this build doesn't really get typically more than two of them you can get one from a frost strike you can get one from a vizier but it doesn't run the four mana legendary that copy spells so yeah this card pisses people off i see complaints about it honestly if it was up to me i'd probably make the card deal five damage to a minion or make it eight mana or something because board freezes are toxic they're not fun and especially one that ghost face guaranteed it's a card that I could see getting adjusted. We know Construct Quarter. There's no way this card's not getting hit. But we're talking about the criteria of what pisses people off, right? Mana cheat. What mana cheat do you have? I'd say Horn of Winter to an extent, right? Refreshing two mana crystals. It's Lightning Bloom without the overload. You have some mana cheat in here with Vizier. If you have an undead die, you get two mana on a spell. You get some mana cheat on a Noggling, but you got to invest four mana to get it. There's nothing like that obscene. You don't have obscene stat bombs, right? You can get a four or five that spawns a three three. That's a lot of stats, but compared to old Miracle Rogue with the location stealth, uh, like, you know, it's not even comparable. So people don't bitch as much about that and then again the burst in the deck outside of like random like i guess uh, glacial advances from frost strike you're looking at marrow manipulator but the nice thing about this card is you have to build corpses to get it to be utilized and your opponent can play around it by playing minions to an extent again it can't be a pyroblast to the face for six mana which can be pretty frustrating and of course you have bran which is just always frustrating but regardless what i'm talking about in terms of a top tier deck it is one of the least frustrating i've seen in a long time it's too good though it makes up way too much of the play population it's only gonna get worse but i just find it to be an interesting phenomenon that people bitch more about let's say uh the evolve shaman the evolve shaman deck here that isn't quite as good but it's high roll of playing gold shire no one two into like a giant 10 drop or whatever into thaddeus it's just bullshit it's frustrating there's no game to be had there there's there's no back and forth, but at least against a deck like this one here, you at least feel like you're fighting back and forth. You're fighting for board. It feels like it can be beatable with like healing, armor gain, maybe fatiguing them. And it's not like super oppressive. It's not super oppressive, at least in the terms of uh, the way it wins. Cause look at, look at this matchup spread. Everything is green except Charge Warrior. Charge Warrior beats it and that's it. But for the most part, it's like 50, 60, 50, 60, 50, but, but let's be real. It's way too damn good. And uh, the other thing I'm wondering, is it just because maybe it's not that popular at lower ranks yet? Is that really what it's coming down to? But I do think that I much prefer, at least personally, a top tier deck to be like a Frost minion death fight that plays for board, has a limited reach, has a somewhat predictable play pattern, and I don't know, I don't mind playing it that much. And if you look at its popularity, at least on HS Replay, it's, it's the most popular deck at like almost every single rank. So I'm curious to hear what you guys have to say about it. Just It's a weird phenomenon. Do you guys think outside of like the last decks when we had Rogue, we had Demon Hunter, we had all these decks people wanted to uninstall, people were complaining nonstop. And now that Deathlight, maybe it's just because it's the new class, I don't know, just don't seem to be as up in arms. Or lastly, is it because I really like playing Deathlight, have over 1500 wins, and I'm the guy that's always bitching. And for some reason, this just doesn't bother me as much, but I still think it should get nerfed. I still think it should get adjusted. It's just not pissing me off quite as much. Anyways, I thought it was an interesting topic. Let me know in the comments below if it drives you crazy or, you know, is it just a little bit overtuned? Get that location dial back, maybe a Frostworm's Fury, see how it goes. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Have a great day and stay salty, my friends.